Hello, my name is Karen Eichler, and today I'm going to show you how to navigate a non-exempt salaried employee time card at Boulder County. Boulder County has an internal website called NBC. From NBC, go down to BC Time on the left-hand side and click that link. It's going to open a login page where you enter your username and password. The username and password is the same as the password you use to sign into your PC first thing in the morning. They will always be in sync. Once you enter your name and password, go ahead and click that arrow, and it will take you into the BC Time application. The very first screen you're going to see as a non-exempt employee is the Record Timestamp screen. As a non-exempt employee at Boulder County, you are expected to record your time using a device. It can either be a clock on the wall, it can be a mobile device if you're out and about, or you will record your time using the timestamp feature on the PC. The way you do that is just by clicking this button and it will record your time. Once my time is recorded, I can go over to the related items on the right side of the page, find my time card, and click on it. It will open up an additional tab called my time card. From here now, I can view that punch and make sure it is correct. Everything in BC time works from your schedule. You are expected to adhere to a schedule. Anything outside of the schedule will be marked with a visual indicator, and if you hover on it, you'll be able to see what the exception is. When you right-click on that punch, you can go down and add a note and a comment. By clicking on the blue arrow, you can choose a canned comment, you can write a free-form note, and once you save it, it will appear on your time card with a blue bubble. All employees at Boulder County are expected to review and approve their time cards weekly. To do that, go up to the time period at the top, use the pull down to choose last week, and then go down a little bit further on the time card and find that double line with an arrow and click on it. When you pull that up, you can see total hours for a full-time employee, we expect you to work 40 hours a week. So if I review my time, I can see that it does total 40, and I can look down at the bottom and I can review by pay code and see that that time also equals 40. My time is complete and I'm ready to approve, so I'm going to go back up to the, on the left side to approve time card and choose approve. Once I do that, the color of the time card will change to indicate the approval. Once my approval is in place, I can click on that double line to get rid of the totals, and I can go back up and change it to current pay period to see the entire pay period. When I am done in my time card, I can simply choose the X on that tab to get rid of that workspace. Now I'm back at my home workspace, and I'm going to go over to the right and choose my calendar. This is where I can request time off in advance. Choose request time off. It's going to open a box. I want to take off the 28th and it's going to be a full day of vacation. So I'm going to choose full day. I can look here on the bottom to review my available balances to make sure I have enough time. I can add a note and a comment and I'll submit my time. Once I submit my time, it'll go to my manager for approval at which point I will be able to see it on the time card. I am done entering my time off request, so I'm going to click out of that workspace. And now let's go into the employee homepage. This is where you can view your own information. If I go under personal information, I can update my contact information and my emergency contacts. We want you to keep up on this. If there's ever an emergency at Boulder County, we need to know how to reach you. If you go to the pay screen, you can look at your pay history, your check stubs, your direct deposit advices. You can go to direct deposit and update your deposit elections. You can go to tax withholdings and update 
your tax withholding election, or you can view prior year W-2 forms. So you can go to benefits. In benefits, you can review what your benefits are currently. Under employment, you're going to be able to print out a personal profile, which is good for lenders. And over on the right side, you have provider links where you can go to Para and check out your um, retirement. You can go to Mycetina for health, Rocky Mountain Reserve for your um, $125, Simply Well for our wellness plan, pay card services if you have a pay card, CVS for your prescriptions, Vision for your vision services, and Delta Dental for your dental services. When you are done using Kronos, you can go up to that top page, go a little bit further up where you can sign out underneath your name. So that is my whirlwind tour of a non-exempt credit card at Boulder County. Thank you.